Hello friends, today we are going to read Birds That Sing Their Name. The author is Panchapakesan Jagannathan. The illustrator is Ravi Jambekar and the publisher is Nature Conservation Foundation. So let's read Birds That Sing Their Name. Imagine having our names being based on the shape of our nose, our hairstyle, our body color, or the way we speak. It would be funny. Can you think of the names you would be called? This is exactly what people who study birds do when they name the birds they see. These scientists called ornithologists name birds by the features they see. So the scientists that study birds are called ornithologists. Ornithologists study birds and when they see a new bird that doesn't have a name yet, they name it by what they see. Does it have black wings or does it have a red beak or, you know, uh, is it a, a, what color is it? What does it eat? Based on that is what these scientists name the birds. And can you imagine if our names were based on how we look? On, how, on our hairstyle or the shape of our nose or something. Can you think of some of those names that your friends would call you? Ornithologists observe birds. They see the color of their body feathers, shape and size of their body parts and their food habits and they name them. For example, a black winged stilt is called so because its wings are black in color and it has long legs that resemble stilts. A spotted dove is a dove with a lot of spots on its body. A green bee eater is so called because, well, it is green and eats honey bees and other insects. So here are some examples of birds that are named by what they look like and what they eat. For example, a black winged stilt. What is a stilt? A stilt is a, is a tall pole. Usually stilts are a pair of tall poles that somebody who is just having fun and needs to look tall, they tie it to their legs, to their feet, and they walk on them. So they look so high, right? And what do you think is a black winged stilt in this picture? So you can see that this bird has black wings and really long legs. And so this is the black winged stilt. And similarly, here is a green bird and it, it would be eating honeybees. So this is the green bee eater. Some get their names because of the way they sing. Take the Asian coil. Have you ever listened to them? The female coil gives out a bubbling call and the male birds call coo -woo, coo -woo. and sometimes coil, coil. Coil. And that's why we call them coil. 
when anyone gets their name based on the calls and songs they produce, these names are called onomatopoeic names. Can you think of an example? So what is onomatopoeia or onomatopoeic? What does that mean? It means when a sound is very similar to the word, the word that is used to describe that sound is the sound itself. So let's think of an example. The word crack, that is the word to describe when something breaks. What is the sound you hear when something breaks? Crack. Doesn't it sound just like the word crack? That is an example of onomatopoeic. That is a word that is onomatopoeic. And when something gets their name based on the sound they produce, like this bird, coil, it is an onomatopoeic name. Let's see some more examples of this. Now let's explore some birds that call out their own names. If you listen to a common cuckoo, you will know why this bird is called, well, a cuckoo. When it calls, it has two notes, which sound like cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Have you seen this pretty looking bird called Eurasian hoopo? Hoopo has got a far sounding repetitive oop, oop, oop. Oop, oop, oop. Oop, oop, oop. Hence, the Latin name of this bird is Upupa Epops. So, there are some more examples here, like the cuckoo and the Eurasian hoopo. The sound of the hoopo is oop, 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 and the Latin name of this bird is very similar to that sound. Why Latin? Latin is an old language that is used in science a lot to use, uh, to give names to things like birds, animals, chemicals and things. And that is the Latin name of this bird is also the scientific name of it and it is similar to the sound it makes. In many Indian languages, crows are named after their call. In Hindi, they are called kawa. In Tamil, they are called kaka. In Telugu, they are called kaki. In Assamese, they are called kauri. In Bangla, they are kak. All resembling their call. Cow, cow, cow. Have you heard a crow? Doesn't it sound just like the name that you call it by? Kaka, kawa, kaki. These are all names for the crows in different languages, which is very similar to the sound they make. In Hindi, grey francolin is called teeter, since they give out a loud and repetitive call. Kateeter, kateeter, kateeter. In Telugu, red wattled lap wings are called ututti, which sounds like their call. Ut, 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 
they go. In Tamil, the common hawk cuckoo is called akka kuil since their repetitive call sounds like akka, 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 which means elder sister in Tamil. So, in Hin the, here are some more examples of some birds which have their name in Indian languages, which is similar to the sound they make. The teeter uh, is called teeter. The bird that sounds ututi is called ututi. And the akka quill makes a sound akka, akka. And these are all onomatopoeic names. Most of us surely have nicknames given by our schoolmates and friends, and so do birds. For example, bird watchers call the red wattled lapwing as the did he do it bird, since its alarm calls sounds like did he do it? Did he do it? Pity to do it? Common hawk cuckoo is also called the brain fever bird as their ceaseless call sounds quite like saying brain fever, brain fever, brain fever. When the Indian cuckoo calls, the words sound like one more bottle, one more bottle. Of what is your guess? And so here are some more examples of birds that have nicknames that sound like the sounds they make. And it's funny. The bird sounds like, did he do it? Did he do it? And that's why it's called the, did he do it bird? That's the nickname of it. The real name is red wattled lapwing. And here are some more examples of it. The puff-throated babbler's calls sound like, I'll beat you, I'll beat you. Bird calls can be funny that way. The brown-cheeked fulveta calls are written as Daddy, chocolate. Daddy, chocolate. Daddy, give me chocolate. Isn't that funny? How can a bird sound like it's saying something so funny? The puff-throated babbler sounds like it's going to beat you any minute. I hope you enjoyed this book. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are Ornithologist A scientist who studies birds Onomatopoeia When a word describing a sound is the same as the sound Onomatopoeic something that uses onomatopoeia. Latin, an old language used in scientific words. Repetitive, something that happens again and again. Ceaseless, never ending. Stilts, a pair of long poles tied to the feet of a person who is lifted high while walking. Black winged stilt, a bird with black wings and long legs that look like stilts. Spotted dove, a dove that has spots. 
green bee eater a green bird that eats bees brown cheeked pulvetta a type of bird that sounds like it's saying daddy chocolate puff throated babbler a type of bird that sounds like it's saying i'll beat you try these questions write down what your friends might call you if they named you by how you look can you write down some examples of onomatopoeia go out and listen to the songs and calls of the birds around you can you hear what they are saying can you make sentences of their sounds write these down in your notebook and share with your friends when you see these birds later you will remember their names